hey, this is Mr. George, come back to teach you a little bit more about magnets. The product I'm going to be looking at today is the one that I start all of my science classes off with. I do a lot of volunteer science class, classes with elementary schools, and one of the ones that's everybody's favorite is the one on magnets. And I do this in first, second, and third grades, but I have done this in all the way up through middle school and into high school. I've actually done it for some seniors at some advanced uh, high schools in the area. And what I like to do is take just a minute and show you how I start this class. This class starts with a product I've developed called the Magnet Board. I use it for teachers and for kids. It's great for anybody that wants to learn a little bit about the interaction of magnetic fields. And so as we open this box up, here's what slides out. Now I have used this for the past five or six years. I hand made them for the first two or three years and then I got these about a year ago and I have been using them. This board comes with a series of magnets in here. You'll see that we have ring magnet, a couple of star magnets, we have some circle magnets or disc magnets as we call them, rectangular magnets. These are magnetized through the thickness. These are triangle shaped. We even have heart shaped magnets and we have these magnets that are magnetized from lengthwise so that you'll have like north, south, north, south like this. Now, these are embedded in plastic so that they don't come out. It takes a lot of uh, usage. I've used them in classes. I've got one set that I have been using for two years in classes uh, with three or four hundred kids a year getting to work with these. Now, in doing this, what I'm looking for is trying to help the kids understand how magnets interact with each other and what it looks like to see a north and a south pole. Some of these magnets are set so that they're north to north some are set so that they're north to south, and, and I don't remember which, what they are in here, but what I like to do is let the kids spend a few minutes exploring this using some magnet powder. Now there's a big difference between magnet powder and, mag and iron filings. Magnet powder is a lot finer, and this type of powder doesn't get on your fingers or anything, and I had this made for me, and my board has this other little magnet that the kids get to use outside. It's about three quarters of an inch long and a quarter of an inch thick, and it allows them to play with the board and flip it around. They're able to let it stick to the magnets or flip over as they try and get near it, but that's the way they make Now, when I do these classes, each kid gets their own board to work with. Now, if some teachers wanted to do this in a classroom, you might want to have like three or four of these boards and put them at a work center so that the kids once a week when you're covering your section on magnets can rotate through these and have some time that they spend with this. All of the things that we get to do in our class, I usually spend about 12 or 15 minutes with the kids on this and let them spend time exploring with it and covering just this one part. We have to take these things back away from them. The kids do not want to give it up. We use another thing, the little bouncy magnets that really get the kids excited and looking forward to that helps them give these up. Now, as we go to this, what I'm wanting the kids to see is how the magnets interact with each other. If you take two magnets that attract each other, they're going to form a bridge. So we take this little cup of iron powder and all they have to do is pinch it out and they can sprinkle it on. Now when I say sprinkle, it doesn't work well to pour it on. What you want to do is just lightly sprinkle. And as you sprinkle, you will see these magnets starting to form lines around it. Now the lines of magnetism help reveal where the magnets are and how magnetism is working. When the magnets between two pieces, two magnets, when the iron filings between two magnets start to come together, they form a bridge because what's happening is the north poles line up with each other north to south, north to south, north to south, all the way across, and at that point they are showing a nice little bridge. And that's what the iron filings do. They just match that pattern. If we sprinkle it between some of these that are repelling, now you have coming from two magnets north to south and then there's south to north like this. So now you got two north poles that's going to be facing each other. South to north, south to north, come together. When they get close like this, they can't figure out what they're supposed to do. They know they're not supposed to bridge, so they just turn away. So if you sprinkle very lightly with the ones that are repelling each other, what you will see is that lines of magnetism will grow together and then it will spread out and it will fan out. So as we take this, we can sprinkle this and you'll see some of these magnets start to attract, but like this one, we're looking at this pattern here and they're, they're not forming a bridge. They're going away from each other because these two ends are repelling each other. Now, if we go down to this set of magnets, this is where I've got these, these three magnets on the end. One pair of these is set to attract, one pair is set to repel. 
and we can tell if we lightly sprinkle on top of here, we can see these two are repelling. They're not forming a bridge. If you come to these, they are attracting and form a bridge. Now, what we try and do is I let the kids play with this for about, like I said, 10 to 12 minutes, and then I want to take these boards up. Now, it may not look like much here, but the kids will just sit and play with this and play with this and play with this. They love playing with this little board and, and exploring. And they will call me over and look what we've done, Mr. George and Mr. Super Magnet Man. Look what we've done. We've made this. We've done this. And they love taking their magnet and letting it get all these iron filings on it because this magnet is one, as they get it close to it, they can see it'll pull down and it pulls all the iron filings off of it. They can pinch these off, put them back in the cup, or they can keep playing with it. Now, when it comes time to clean up, yes, they don't like the clean up part, but the clean up is easy. What we do with the clean up part is I tell the teachers that's helping me to come around, I say, here's what we do. We just hold the board up like this and we wipe it off. It goes just like this. And once they get it clean, we're ready, and you do both sides because there'll be some that picks up on the back side. We're ready to put these back in the case, and now we take the magnet, and it's their magnet vacuum cleaner. And the kids just love taking the magnet vacuum cleaner and letting it suck up all the magnet iron powder all over their desk until it's nice and clean. Now they just pinch it off and put it right back in the cup where it came from. Now sometimes you'll have a little bit that falls off on the floor and sometimes you'll have a little bit that, that gets in the carpet and stuff. And, some, and so when you do that, if the kids see it and you can see that it's, it's enough to be seen, what you do is you take the magnet and just wave it over the carpet, pulls it all up. They also get a lot of, get a lot of uh, fun out of seeing that they'll get some stuck on their fingers and they just move it across their fingers and this pulls the iron right out of their fingerprints and off of their fingers. And just like that, they're clean again. They can pinch it off, put it back in the cup, and they're ready to play with the next thing I'm going to be handing out. Well, hope that helps you understand a little bit about how the magnet lines of, lines of magnetism interact. And this is designed, as we said, for an elementary school class and an elementary school teacher. And if you have kids that just love playing with magnets, this is a great place for them to start. They can't get the magnets out of a board to swallow them. Now, I guess if you beat on it long enough and hard enough, you might break the board apart, but it, and it, it wasn't designed to play baseball with or something like that. It's designed to be used in a classroom and in a setting like this. With that, thanks for watching. Check this out on our website, and we'll be looking forward to asking and answering any questions you may have on how to teach these classes in elementary school kids. Thank you very much.